As we all know, Udaipur is a city of wonders. The city is filled with so many beautiful places to which one can go easily. Among all these places, do you know there is a palace in Udaipur that is built at the highest height in the city? During the rainy season, clouds can be seen all around this palace. So today in this video, we are going to talk about this palace. So let's get into it. The palace of which we are going to talk is known as Sajjangar Palace or Monsoon Palace. It is also called the Crown Jewel of Udaipur. This palace is situated on the top of Bans Dara in the Aravli Hills. The peak of Bans Dara is considered to be the highest peak in the hills of Udaipur, whose height above sea level is about 944 meters, that is 3100 feet. Earlier, this palace was under the authority of the Mewar royal family, but now it is under the authority of the forest department. To reach Sajjangarh, there is a climb of about 3.5 km on a hill. There is a road up to the palace on the top of the hill. You can go through it either by two-wheeler or four-wheeler. Since the palace comes under the Sajjangarh biological park area, tickets have to be taken at the main gate to enter it. As you go past the main gate, the climb on the mountain starts. The road on the hill is made in a zigzag and spiral shape. Climbing the road is quite adventurous in itself. During the rainy season, when there is dense greenery all around, the natural beauty of this place is worth watching. There is a big garden in front of the palace. Both Pichola and Fateh Sagar lakes are visible from here. In the rainy season, due to the presence of clouds all around, the view here looks like heaven and it seems as if we are swimming among the clouds. There is a main gate to enter the palace. This gate made of stone is very big and artistic. Marble and granite have been used to make the gate and the palace, which is a very unique example of architecture. The main palace is a multi-storey building with several feet high pillars decorated with flowers and leaves. The local yellow plaster was used to construct these things. In the palace, there are lattice windows made of marble in which one can sit and enjoy the beauty of nature. There is a circular staircase that leads to the upper floor of the palace. In the palace, along with the wild animals, life in the wild has also been displayed. Models depicting tribal lives have also been made. From the back side of the palace, far-reaching forests can be seen. In this rare part, the hunting enclosure built for the hunting of the royal family is also visible. From this palace, along with the natural beauty of Udaipur and its surroundings, one can also enjoy a very beautiful view of sunrise and sunset. The tourists who come here should definitely watch the sunset from here. Many films have been shot in this palace, among which the James Bond film Octopussy is prominent. This film portrays this palace as the residence of the villainous Afghan prince Kamal Khan. If we talk about the construction of the Sajjangarh Palace, then the construction of this multi-storey building was started by Maharana Sajjan Singh as an observatory to keep an eye on the clouds in the rainy season and study the weather. It is said that Maharana Sajjan Singh wanted to build this palace as a 9-storey building. But due to his premature death, his plans could not be completed. One other reason for building this palace is said to be that from this palace, he wanted to see Chittorgarh, the residence of his ancestors. The foundation of this palace was laid on August 18, 1883. But due to his untimely death at the age of 25 in 1884, Maharana Sajjan Singh could not see it completed and the construction work stopped. After the death of Maharana Sajjan Singh, Maharana Fateh Singh got this place constructed in 1898. In the year 1900, Maharana Fateh Singh also got the hunting enclosure constructed in the western direction of the Sajjangarh Palace. 
Tankas were also made for water harvesting at each level of the palace. In the year 1956, Maharana Bhagwat Singh donated this palace to the public. As for the places to visit near Sajjangarh Palace, you can see Sajjangarh Biological Park, Ubeshwar Mahadev, Fateh Sagar Lake, Badi Lake, Pichola Lake, City Palace, Neemach Mata, Karni Mata, Gulab Bagh, etc. Now let's talk about how to reach Sajjangarh Palace. The palace is located in the main Udaipur city and can be reached easily. It is about 10 kilometers away from the Udaipur railway station. And if we take City Palace as the starting point, then it is about 7.5 kilometers from it, which includes 3.5 kilometers of climbing on a hill. So if you go on a tour to Udaipur, you must see the Sajjangarh Palace, feel its beauty and cherish it in your memory. So that's all for today. I hope you've liked this information. To see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss a video.